Good morning, Verona Air School District families. Welcome to the next edition of In the Loop in the Soup. I'm Dr. Tremaine Clary, the proud superintendent of Verona Area School District, and I'm here with two dynamic scholars today. I have Max Romer over here, and we have Will Sharonbrock. How you doing? Good. Welcome to the show. Doing great. All right. So, as we've heard loud and clear from our students, they are extremely interested in financial literacy marketing and entrepreneurship as skills that they want to be able to graduate from the Brown Area School District with and be able to carry those skills into uh, into life, into our, our great global society. And so we have two great examples of what that means here at Badger Ridge Middle School. And they're gonna talk about a program that's called Business Wannabes. So we, we have a class that uh, builds those skills that you're definitely looking for. And we're gonna begin with, begin with you, Will. Uh, the class that you're taking is it's an elective that means you get to choose whether you want to be in the class or not so mm -hmm. tell us why you chose uh, this exciting course and what it what is meant for you uh i chose the course business wannabes because ever since i was little i've always been like making little businesses and being an entrepreneur and it's always really fun for me to be able to create something and help people with that so um when i chose business wannabes that was in mind being able to do that and being able to run the school store, which has been a lot of fun for me. And Miss Lynn Harris has been great too. Excellent, excellent. All right, Max, so as you're marketing and selling these items, how do you determine the pricing and what are you gonna sell? Like how do you how do you set this up? At the beginning of the year, we set, we set up a poll and we sent it out to teachers and students so they could choose what they wanted at the store and what prices they could afford so everyone could be included in our school store and we wouldn't be targeting certain students with certain prices and items. That's great. So you thought about the demographics of your school. That's yes. a smart marketing strategy mm -hmm. when you know, you know your population and you know you want to serve. How have the students responded to it? What do, what do they think about it? Um, yeah, we've sent out multiple surveys past that too and they like filling them out because then they feel like they get to be part of the school store. Mm -hmm. They get to be part of like the choices that we're making and what we're doing in the store. Excellent. What's the most popular item? That's probably bubblers. Bubblers? Right bubblers. Well, bubblers. we have one treat every day. Mondays, we have root beer floats. Tuesdays are normally brownies. Yeah. Wednesdays, muffins, and Thursdays, dirt cups. Yeah. And dirt cups are probably our yeah. fastest selling item. Probably the best selling item. Dirt, dirt cups are good, yeah. To tell you a little secret, the first time I ever drank a bubbler, guess where I got it from? Here. Right here, right here, right here, Badger Ridge, right near school. I was, I was thirsty. <laughs> I wanted a, a good, good pick me up in the morning, and I, and uh, you, one of you offered me a bubbler, and I had my first one, and now they're part of my, uh, they're part of my household goods. So thank you, thank you for introducing that to me. So what we, what I'm so excited about, and and knowing how great the both of you are, and, and all your classmates are, is that you do some really important things with your with your money that you earn here yeah. and you donate those yeah. to special uh, charities around you know really around the globe can you talk about some of those do donations yeah so the first quarter of so last quarter in this business one of these class we donated all of our profits from um the cubs closet which is the store to uh ukraine mm -hmm. and helping uh people with housing in ukraine so that like that made us all feel really good. We all like that idea. And I think this uh, quarter we're gonna be spending our, or like giving the ch charities uh, profits for the different uh, committees in our, in our Cubs closet. So we have the beverage committee, salty committee and the sweet committee. So beverage committee is giving it to the um, Red Cross and sweet is giving it to St. Jude and the Salty Committee is giving it to the Loveland Foundation, and they're all helping with different things. So. That, that's phenomenal. That's Thank phenomenal. You. It makes makes my heart proud to know that this is what happened in our, in our schools. And it speaks to your character and the character of everyone in your class that you're you're working hard and you're you're, you're uh, engaging in, in the financial literacy, but you're also giving out to, to those that, that need help. So I can tell you how proud I am of, of you and the efforts of, of your team. So if you had any closing closing remarks, Max, of the, what you want, you know, everyone that's watching to know about about the program, what do you want them to know? That Cubs Closet also talks about a lot of the background stuff in business, like your business plan, and you need to know a lot about 
your environment of where you're going to sell. You need to know what you have and you need to know who your customers are and what they want because if you just go out with none of that information, you are most likely to not succeed in your business if you don't have all that background information. Absolutely. Well, I am rest assured that both of you are going to be very successful. We'd like to thank uh, your, your wonderful staff that support you here. Uh, here at Badger Ridge and you know, we're, you're headed for greatness and continue to be models for what it means to be in service to others while also uh, engaging in strong financial literacy. So thank you both for being here today. And that concludes our episode of In the Loop of the Soup. We are extremely proud of, uh, of our students and all of our students here in the Brown Area School District. So we'll see you at our next episode. Have a great day.